Today I'm looking at a Mercedes ML350. We're going to be doing an oil cooler gasket and cooler change on this vehicle today. You got to start by taking off this cover, pull it up, take it off, exposing your uh, well-known oil filter cover, oil filler, and some various other parts, including the ECM, okay? Then we're going to remove the air intake hoses from the air filter module. There are two of them. Remove the left side, remove the right side, putting it out of the way, then remove this hose that connects to the air filter port. Then we're going to remove the air filter compartment that comes up by uh, there's a clip in the back pop that off and then you just pop this up exposing the engine so I'm gonna to have to remove the power steering fluid reservoir held together by two um, star screws size T30s one in the center hole and one up top that you can clearly see. See that pin right there? It's kind of hard to see. But that pin has to come out. That ring needs to be pulled out so that the reservoir can be removed. So looking at the oil filler cap, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just open this just to let any excess oil that's up inside this drain down into the pan. That's achieved by giving it some breathing. See, it's gone down. Then we're gonna remove the oil cooler so I have already opened the oil filter just to let that oil drain back into the pan. And this is the oil cooler. And we're not removing the whole assembly. We're just gonna take off the oil cooler portion, this little box. And we're gonna use this red gasket to, um, when we put it back on. So using a T30. I'm going to take these off, but before I do that, I'm going to put a whole bunch of paper towels under that because oil is in there and it's going to leak out. So there's three bolts on this side and uh, we're going to remove them. I'm removing the ones on the top first because I want to minimize the leak gonna be coming out as I loosen them up. There's a total of five bolts. Now I expect some oil to come out and you should expect the same. Now remember that coolant is in here as well. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to 
taking this gasket off. Don't want to use any sharp tools. This is an aluminum piece, and you know how that goes you damage it. That's it. So just pull it off slowly with your hands. <clears throat> Out of there. So the oil cooler helps cool down the oil by running coolant into a separate chamber from the oil and the coolant helps to remove some of that heat from the oil without mixing with it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put on a new gasket. And um, put back on the oil cooler. Here's a new gasket. Everything should line up perfectly. And just go right into position. Don't you love when everything is just brand new and just goes in just so perfectly? Once upon a time you'd have had to squirt gasket maker into this, but not anymore. Then we take the oil cooler and we put it back into position. Notice this little notch right here that it fits onto. There's one at the top as well. Now you're gonna take the bolts and you're gonna do one up here, and then do the opposite side. And you're gonna start off by threading them by hand first. bit harder because uh, position sensor is in the way. I might have to remove this position sensor to give me better access. And as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do that right now. To remove that position sensor, you'll use a Torx 40. Just so we could gain access to that bolt. 
without damaging the position sensor. No sense in doing a job yourself if you're going to be damaging parts. So let's just pop this out. Pop the position sensor out. And then you can continue. So once everything is torqued down, you're going to talk it down to 10 foot-pounds each and uh, you start the car up and you check for leaks and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, send me comments, let me know what you need. This is Keith from iRepair Autos.